Hello guys, in current video, we are going to see how to write a Python program using a Boto3 library by using which we are going to list all the EC2 instances which are available in our account or we can search it for various accounts also based on the access that we have for our user. So now let's create a simple program in which we are going to list the EC2 instances which are already created in my account. So let me first go to my uh, AWS console. Under EC2 console, you can see we have two servers, server 1 and server 2. Now, let's go to our PyCharm editor and over here, let's create list EC2. Now, let's go back and over here, let's search for EC2 port port. Okay. Now I will open this. Okay, so as per the documentation, I am going to copy this. Now, as a part of response that we are going to create, we are going to search for describe. Underscore. instances okay so this is the method that we're going to use i will open this method for you so over here if you open this method you will have the entire information of what exactly this method does what is the risk request syntax that you can use what are the filters that can be used as a part of this method that you can pa pass as a parameter or arguments so over here it is a filter list based on which you can perform your search you can perform your search based on tags you can perform your search based on different different uh, filters that you that you want as per your requirement so now let's copy this and go back to our code editor instances okay so now uh, the output of this method is going to be stored in our response okay so what we can do is we can check what was the output by printing the response or yes now let's traverse this response and get the output where we can see what is the instance type instance id and the key name of the specific uh, two instances that is the ec2 instances that we have created over here so let's go back over here we will use a for loop for reservations why we are using reservations if i go back to the boto3 library see this is the response syntax and response syntax sends you the dictionary that is a reservation so we will first go for reservation so Over here, I will copy it from. This is a list within a dictionary. Okay. Now, once we are into reservation, so we came down one step from reservation. So, in inside reservation, we are going to search for instances. This one, See, this is a part of it. Instances. So, I will again use a for loop. the variable in which it will be stored and we will fetch it from the last variable over here I will use instances as per the response okay hold on now let's print it We will first print the image ID of the running EC2 instance. Then we will instance type.
and then we will print running instance key name. So that's it. Dot format. In format, now this is the instance, okay, in which the output has been stored. So we are going to use this instance. Now in instance, what are we? So we want to check the image ID. Let's go back. In instances, you can find the image ID, instance type, and the key name. Okay, which is over here. So I will go back and I will mention over here instance, <coughs> and in instance, I will search for instance ID. Oh, sorry, uh, for image ID. We will search for image ID first. Then the second one would, would be instance again. In instance, we are going to search for instance type. So go back instance type. So see, we are fetching everything from the documentation itself. Now the last one is key name so this is the key name okay that's it okay. now let's print our results you will see so let me clear it for you so now just focus on the result so I'm going to run this As you can see over here, it has given us the output. This I'm going to copy and use and paste it over here. And I will clear it for you once again and run the program. So before that, I will make this as come in. Paste this to instance. So this is the AMI ID that we have used for the running instance. We have two running instances, server one and server two. So the AMI ID that you can see. And the next is the instance type, it is T2 micro, T2 micro. And then the running instance The last is the key name. So in our result, I don't see the key name. Just give me one minute. Let me check. Okay, so let's maybe the key is not attached to this instances. That is the reason you cannot see. But instead of key, we can uh, fetch something else. Let's try to try something else. Instead of key name, I will take we have to take, take an instance ID. So I will just go back to my code and over here I will take instance ID. Let's run it again. Okay. So the problem over here was not our last code. We can see the key name also. The reason for that is I have actually not mentioned this code over here. Opening and closing braces. Now let's run it. Yes, you got it. So this is how you can uh, use uh, the Boto3 library based on which you can see how you have 
how many instances you have running instances it's information and this kinds of listing can be used in automation uh, in next videos we will see that how we can list the instances and based on the list that we are fetching we can perform a termination or some other operation based on that thank you for watching this video see you soon bye